there, physical media people. It's Philip Jeffries here for COVID and Cult Film. It's been a little while, and I am here for a pickup video. Uh, I have a lot of stuff coming in, and there was a bunch of stuff that I had waiting for me at Bay Street Video here in Toronto. And let's first start with the blob, the blob, blah, 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 blah. No, this isn't that one. This is the one from the 80s. The one that uh, Red Letter Media did a review on. One I've heard so many good things about. But this isn't for me. This is uh, for my my uh, my man friend. My boyfriend. My partner. Man V Film. Graham. Who's uh, married. He's putting on... Uh, putting on appearances for the folks next door. I don't know when he'll stop doing that and admit it, but... He is, but this goes out to you, Graham, from Man V Film. This will be heading to you, I guess, in January after Train Spotting 4K is released because I got to pick that up for you too. See what a good boyfriend I am, Graham, from Man V Film. You sure? You sure you're straight? Anyway, uh, that's the blog from Screen Factory 4K. He said I can watch it because he loves me. All right. Now, here's a label that uh, I've, I've really gotten into lately is uh, Umbrella Entertainment. Uh, kids, I, I had a couple of their things, but I'd never heard of them until uh, they put out Possession on Blu-ray a little while ago. I gave my copy to a friend, my friend Rob, um, and I gave him mine because I know that they're putting it out on 4K. And this is a Peter Weir film, the last... Wave and uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen my 4K, my top 10 4K uh, videos so far this year, I put Peter Weir's um, Picnic at Hanging Rock from Second Sight at number one. So this is another Peter Weir 4K, The Last Wave. I am looking forward to this. I don't know anything about it really, but Peter Weir 4K Umbrella sold. I also have something else coming in from Umbrella. I don't know. It could come in today. I don't know. Speaking of Umbrella, here's another one. Hercules Returns. And this is another Australian film. It's a comedy. And um, I don't know too much about it. I, I Apparently it was like a TV show, like a troupe, like a like a Kids in the Hall or something like that over in, um, in, in Australia. I don't know the troupe. I, I'm not Australian. So uh, my Australian friends can teach me all about this film but the reviews are really strong so uh i and i i want more comedies in my collection so um yeah so i got hercules returns the uh, the the web store exclusive from umbrella looked really awesome i really like the cover of it uh, i like the cover of the slip here too but i really really like that but yeah umbrella well the, what really um made me pay attention like really pay attention to them was the the release of kids and i got the the web store exclusive with the um film cell and the book and, and all that it's just it's it's just it's an astounding release and that spoiler alert was mine is my number one uh blu-ray of the year so far i don't think that's going to change it's just such an important film for me so i'm i'm really paying more and more attention to umbrella so everything i it's like imprints and umbrella god those aussies you know a lot of comedians I watch, I like, I like Shane Gillis a lot, and his opening bit is in his new special on Netflix is how, how the Australians, they don't do shit, they don't create anything. Oh yes they do, but uh, I love Shane, so, but, uh, but I guess he's just not a physical media guy, I don't know. It's a good bit though. Anyway, moving on, Arrow Video, The Desperate Hours, oh, I've wanted this for a long time, William Wyler's The Desperate Hours. This is sourced from a 6K scan. Arrow Video. It's Paramount. They don't uh, with any every Paramount release so far that I've got from um, from Arrow. They don't have the the the, the rainbow thing at the bottom. Uh, I guess that's I guess Paramount demand that. I don't know. But Humphrey Bogart, Frederick Marsh. This was in the imprint uh, set volume three, and I missed that. So I didn't, yeah, so I decided to get this because I love me some film noir. I am a huge film noir guy. So Arrow Videos, The Desperate Hours, Paramount, William Wyler, Humphrey Bogart, Frederick Marsh. Sold. I'm going to watch this today. And that goes up 
top. And then last but not least, I got from Criterion Freaks. Well, that whining there is. Yeah, yeah, we'll have sex later. Don't worry. Um, so Freaks, um, Todd Browning's, uh, it's called the Todd Browning Sideshow Shocker. So, Google gobble, Google gobble, one of us, one of us, Google gobble, Google gobble. I love this movie, um, and I haven't seen the other uh, films that are in here, The Mystic and The Unknown. That, that, that was a joke about having sex with my cat. Leolo, anyone? Anybody ever seen that French-Canadian film? You should get on it. Jesus Christ. Christ, I don't know how they licensed the uh, that Rolling Stones song to play over that. Fuck. Anyways, uh, Todd Browning's Freaks. It's um, a classic, and now it's on Blu-ray. Um, I I look forward to this. So I think a lot of people did. So uh, they I know Criterion really knocked it out of the park this month of October. So that is that. That is my pickup bid. I expect a lot of stuff coming in this um, uh, in the next little while. So something else from Umbrella. And I have the Cauldron Wave coming in. I'll do a video on that. More stuff for my, uh, for my boyfriend. My boyfriend Graham from Man V Film. Anyway, everyone, have a great day. And to my 177 Samurai Warrior subscribers, thank you for watching. And uh, I wish you all the best. So yeah, thumbs up.